Hi, this is Dark Fox 127 and welcome to a Starfield Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Creation Kit. So let's dive in and get started. The first step is going to be to navigate to the store page dedicated to the Starfield Creation Kit. I will place a link in the description down below. And once here, I would first recommend that you check out the system requirements. If we scroll down, everything for the most part looks good. However, something that seems a little bit off at the time of this video, I'm not sure if this is going to change, but this, for whatever reason, requires 32 gigabytes of RAM at the minimum spec and 48 gigabytes of RAM at the recommended spec. So do be aware that your mileage may vary when using the Creation Kit for Starfield, depending on your personal rig. Now that we're happy with that, you can go ahead and click the Add to Library button. Mine doesn't show here because I've already done it. And Steam should then notify you that it's available to download in your library. Once added to your library, simply navigate to your Steam library section and go to the search part at the top left, type in Starfield, and you should find that alongside the game, you have under software, Starfield Creation Kit. Click on that option, click on Install, Select the drive that you wish to have it on. You can add a desktop shortcut or create a start menu shortcut. I personally don't bother with these. It's around 822 meg. And then hit install when you've selected the drive that you want. And just wait for that to go ahead, download and do its thing. Once downloaded, you can go ahead and click on launch. You should then be greeted with a splash screen where it says initiating or initializing, sorry, the archive and it'll do a couple of other things as well. You might find that on the first load, this will take a fair amount of time. For me, it was about five or 10 minutes, but again, here your mileage may vary, but once you've done it once, subsequent loads should be a lot quicker. Now, once this loads up, you will see that you have a bunch of the usual sort of creation kit windows. If you're familiar with any of the previous kits, uh, they will all be jumbled up and piled together into the center of the screen. So you will be able to go ahead, move those around, shift them into place as I have here. And then you should have the creation kit pretty much ready to go. For those of you that are interested in scripting in the creation kit, or if it's something that you think you may well want to get into going forward, you are going to need to locate and extract all of the scripts for the base game. To do that, you will need to navigate to your Starfield directory, which usually is located on the drive it's installed on. In my case, this is the G drive, Steam, Steam apps, common, Starfield. And then you will need to locate the tools folder Go into there and take a look at the content resources zip. If you just double click to open it, give that a few seconds. You should find that there are some additional resources in here, mainly the scripts. I'm not going to take a look at the other stuff in this video. And if you go into scripts, you will see, especially if you're familiar with previous Bethesda titles and the creation kit, that all of the PSC, the source files for all of the scripts in the game are located in here. Now, in previous titles, this was as easy as extracting a zip folder that was already sitting in the right place, and all the scripts, for the most part, with the exception of the DLCs, would just be sitting right where they need to be. However, for whatever reason, uh, this is not the case with Starfield, at least at the time of the video. Therefore, what you will need to do is pretty much just extract all of these files, the PSC files, into a very specific folder structure. So if we go back into your Starfield directory, go into data, you will need to do as I have done here, create a scripts folder, create a folder called source within there. And then as I have started doing, but not completed, you will need to put all of the PSC scripts from that other folder into here. And you will note that some of them are contained in their own folders based on DLCs and, and other things like that. So you will have to pull all of these out so that they're all loose together in that one folder. And then you should be able to reload the creation kit and it will start looking at all of the scripts for the game. And that is just about it for this video. So I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section down below. And if you're looking forward to more Starfield Creation Kit tutorial videos in the future, make sure you hit that like, subscribe button and the bell notification as not to miss any future videos. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you in the Starfield.